Why you gotta be like that? I just wanna update you guys on a couple things before we get out of here. This thing, ouch. Oh, yeah. I love you. She likes you. Uh, dang it, I had something clever to say, I swear. No. Brandon's here, guys. This is this is Brandon Fowler. For those of you guys that have not met Brandon yet, he does more educational shows in the states of California and Oregon than I think anybody per capita is. I mean, that's pretty accurate, right? Probably, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to be going with him today to his, one of his educational shows down here in Slow County. going to bring one of, one of my snakes along, too, and I think he's going to force me to talk to the kids as well. So. I am. <sighs> I need a break. All right, so I guess I'm going to be doing that. But also, he really wants to. He really wants to touch the pied. I do. So I'm not going to stop him. Man, you're like standing back. Are you scared? Well, I just want to get a wide oh, shot. Okay. No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Simmer down. You're good. You're good. Look at you. Look at you, you're all right, you just need some loving. Now that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. You're just a good girl. <laughs> hey, why you gotta be like that? All right, I'll leave you alone. I just wanted to touch in, you know. We're gonna pack up some snakes, we're gonna head off the educational show, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's go, are we ready? I'm ready, so who are we taking? We are taking Betsy Ross, because she is the biggest snake here, so we're hoping to have a nice, get a big reaction from the kids, you know, because kids love, uh, kids love to see that big snake come out, so. And as nice as Halo is, I just wanna bring out the biggest, biggest snake possible, and then plus Halo's having a skin issue, so. Right. You wanna just pile right in that box, make it nice and easy? Check it out, you like it in there? It's dark. I don't know if you guys are aware of what thigmotaxis is, but snakes are what's known as thigmotactic. So when we are traveling with them, we do like to put them into the smallest things possible. I don't have a, a bag that would fit her, otherwise I'd put her in a bag right now just so she'd get extra thigmotactic. But Such this small words. <laughs> I just like to use big words sometimes so that people think I'm smart. You are smart, bro. <laughs> yeah, if you attach a three-letter word to the end of it. How many, how many eggs does the blood, the blood biphone have? How many exits? Egg, eggs. <laughs> Some? Smart. Come on, smart guy. <laughs> Some? <laughs> Some eggs? <laughs> a clutch? Good answer. A clutch of eggs. <laughs> 10 to 12? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and what's the word you use for putting them in small boxes like that? Figmotactic. Well, I know three or four scientific words. I use them a lot. <laughs> so maybe I should let Brian be my lackey today and, you know, unload my car and load it back up and set everything up. I think he'd like that. Uh, I'm good cheap labor. <laughs> so we're going to the roaming reptile, roaming mobile thing. I don't have a name for it. I should probably get one. <laughs> it was right on cue. Yeah. <laughs> Locked and loaded, let's go. This is what happens when you drive hundreds and thousands of miles. Hundreds and thousands of miles to places to show kids reptiles. Gotcha. This guy's got a crazy plethora of animals back here, man. Like That's another big word. <laughs> plethora? <laughs> There's only three syllables. I guess it's plethora. Yeah, three syllables. Big word to me. Plethorization. I don't think that's even a word. Okay, let's just stop right there. <laughs> so, so we're talking about interaction and why, 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 why is this important? What is it about the way you do your show that makes it? So uh, I, I say my show might be different than others. I don't know. It might, might not be. It might be. Uh, I don't get deep into, you know, habitat where they're at, stuff like that, uh, because a lot of times kids won't remember that. Uh, what I want is for these kids to touch and and interact with the animals because that's where start or that's where change starts. Uh, we want our youngsters, our our young boys and girls, to grow up and be conservationists and help these uh, animals. It starts 
with a touch. Um, and, and I get parents up there too. Uh, I want moms and dads up uh, holding stuff too because that influences the kids. If kids see their parents doing it and they're, 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 the parents are enjoying it, the kids are gonna wanna do it. But uh, these kids, they touch something, man, it, it can change a life. And uh, it, it's, it's a big deal for me to know that maybe one of these kids, are, you know, they're gonna grow up and do some great and amazing work and one of my animals had something to do with it, so. That reason is too commendable. We need to think of a more selfish reason to do it. This guy says he's not pretty. Look at how pretty this guy is, man. He's like Tank Abbott meets Kerry King. That's a scary kid. All set up and ready to go, guys. Um, sorry about the audio at the beginning of the vlog. I had the microphone turned all the way up, but hey, we just gotta, we're just gonna have to roll with it. You guys might recognize this room if you've watched this channel before, if you've watched this vlog before. This is where we hold our Turtle Club meetings in this here exact same room, so I'm very comfortable. I feel very at home here. Star of the show is my new retic that, uh, you know, She's gonna start going everywhere with me. Can we see? You can. Wow, whoa, she's coming She's confused, up. but she's my, you know. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, hell. <laughs> Betsy Ross. Because <laughs> she was born on the 4th of July. Hi right, guys, I gotta get out of here. This guy's crazy. <laughs> There's a bunch of excited kids out there, man. Right. Yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Awesome was that. 
<laughs> yeah, so many kids here, man. It was freaking sweet. What a good group. That was amazing. That was amazing. I'd say that was an extremely successful show. Um, I'm very impressed with how loudly Brandon is able to speak <laughs> and communicate to such a large room full of people with absolutely no microphone. That's, uh, I don't know that I could do that day in, day out and not uh, suffer <laughs> physically. Um, so uh, one bummer is I really wish the boys could have been there. They were at our, their summer camp and we, we did pay for the summer camp, so I, I guess I should did right by not pulling them out of it just to come. Plus they get to see reptiles all the time, but one thing they don't get to see all the time is uh, the cool like little whiptail scorpion. Can we bring out the whiptail scorpion? When I can. Should, Eli will be freaking blown away to hold it. He might even not even want to hold it. Not, not only that, if he likes it, I'll give him one. <laughs> Eli, what are you going to see? I'm going to see a tarantula and a copian. A copian? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Let's go. I see the copian. And the tarantula. Here's our tail scorpion. Where's the tarantula? The tarantula, I'll get her out in a minute. Wow. This is a vinegaroon. And is that the big one? You wanna see the other scorpion? Yeah. Oh my. It might be. This is, so this is our African I flat rock scorpion. You don't wanna hold it? You don't sure? have to hold him, buddy. Is he gonna bite you? No. Are you sure you don't want to hold him, my guy? No. This is your one chance you can actually hold the scorpion, my dude. But it's going to pinch No, him. look, it's not pinching him. Right? But I don't want to hold him. What if I sit with you right here and you can you can hold your hands out no. gently? No? You're not? That one I get the tarantula. We'll try that one. You want to see the tarantula? You want to hold the tarantula? No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you're, so, you're so excited about these, them, but you don't want to hold them? <laughs> I'll get Rosie, you can look at her. <laughs> You got stuck oh, face. yeah, tarantula. What is this? A tarantula. Another tarantula. No. Look, he can hold it, my guy. No, no you want to hold it? Come on, dude. Hold the score. Hold the tarantula. Yeah. Look, he, look, he's holding it just fine. He was putting it on kids' heads earlier. <laughs> it's totally, it's totally cool. Really? What if I hold it? Do you want to hold it? Yeah. No. Yes, I do. You do? Well, come yeah. here then. Look, I'm holding it. Put your hand out. So put your hand up flat. Hands, right hands. there. Do two hands. Let's let her walk right across your hand. Just like that. Wow. I don't want to I want to see the scorpion now. Scary noise. How about, can I see the scorpion, please? Can I see the scorpion, please? Where is it? Whoa. Get closer. Look, he's holding it. It's not dangerous. It, does it have a snare? It does not. It's Why? called a tailless whip scorpion. Did the pincers hurt? Uh, not too bad. You don't want to let it walk across your hand? Uh, I'll pet it, but I just don't want to hold it. Okay, so what you're going to do is let me see your finger. Put one finger out. Okay. We'll go right there. <laughs> what are you saying, my guy? I gotta go tell mommy. <laughs> I gotta tell mommy too. That's exactly what you say. <laughs> Silly turd nuggets. <laughs> what do you know? I know. Tarantulas and scorpions. What about tarantulas and scorpions? That scorpions some have stingers and some don't. And the biggest. By in the world is the Goliath tarantula. Its legs are the size of a dinner plate. The size of a dinner plate? Yeah, so that means the whole tarantula is bigger than a dinner plate. Mm. And that's all I know. Do you know. I know. Tarantulas. <laughs> what about tarantulas? Yeah, the. Big. Yes. What do they do when they get scared? Pinch me. <laughs> what do they do with their hairs? Shake them. They flick their butt hairs. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Alright guy, I'll let you I'll let you play your game in peace. I got fun you leaving. <laughs> gotta say goodbye three times. This is how it works. We already said goodbye, but we gotta say goodbye here and then we'll say goodbye on Instagram and then we'll say goodbye on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out, man. No problem. Thank you for having me. You did it's a great fun. job, and uh, I look forward to everything else you're going to do, man. Excellent. Nah, we'll do it again. Good stuff. Thank Good you, Good stuff, my guy. And I'll, I'll get a shot of you driving away, and I'll, I'll wave. <laughs> are we going to do Instagram, or is it? I was just, I mean, I was just kidding. Oh, okay. I, just, you know, I don't know how your filmmakers work. I don't, know, I don't know how I work it. I just roll with it. That was really a ton of fun, man. That, that was a blast. I was so blown away by how many kids Brandon had show up today, man. How cool was that? He said... <laughs> that was really cool to have Brandon out here, man. I'm still blown away by how many kids showed up. That was so cool, man. They're so excited. I love when they... I love hearing the sound of their voices. Every animal gets pulled out and all the cheers of joy. <laughs> Just that. If I could bottle that up somehow and just bring it with me everywhere I went and I opened up whenever I wanted to, that would, I think that would be a good thing. I'd leave a comment down below if you guys got introduced to snakes by a guy that came to your school or some kind of reptile show that you went to, or leave a comment down below if you've done educational shows yourself or leave a comment down below if you just want to say hi. Cause I like leaving comments down below saying hi. I do it to other people. Sometimes. <laughs> oh, check this out. I just want to update you guys on a couple things before we get out of here. This thing, ouch, in front of my face is my little camera clip. I have it set up so I can point the camera straight down whenever this clutch starts to lay. Hopefully it's not while I'm gone. So what I think I'm gonna do is actually set up my security camera because it's got night vision. Well, one of my security cameras. I'm gonna set it up in here so we can check out this girl. Cause I've got to go to Freedom Breeder tomorrow. So if she starts to lay, I want to see it happen. So I'm going to put us, put the camera in there and keep you guys updated on what happens with that. And also if you watched the live stream last week, then you know that I've got my first clutch in the old incubator. There it is. I'm not going to disturb it because I don't like to do that, but there she blows four big happy eggs from a snake that I did not think was either A, ready to breed or big enough, but four healthy eggs, what are you gonna do? Ah, so, take care of yourselves, guys. Take care of each other. I encourage kids to own reptiles, but do your research first. Learn about that animal first. Right now, you are in the perfect building. You're in a library. Go get a book. Check out a book on reptiles. Learn about that animal. Books are amazing.